Peter Obi to play two videos in court today at the presidential election court. The video clips of interview with the chairman of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and the commission's national commissioner and chairman of the Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, on the 23 elect on the 2023 election, tendered as evidence by Peter B and Labour Party, will be played at the presidential election petition court today, Saturday, 10th June. The videos were submitted by Peter Obi through a subpoenaed witness to prove his petition against the victory of Bola Tinubu of APC in the 2023 presidential election. Presidential election petitions court had on Friday admitted the videos of the interview recorded in flash driving evidence after stiff resistance from lawyers to the respondents. At the resumed hearing of the petition, Jibrim Oktepa, son, counsel to Peter Obi, called a subpoenaed witness from Channels TV named Loki Obowolo Shade, a reporter and editor. The counsel informed the court that two subpoenas dated th May 30 and June 6 were served on the TV station to produce the video clips. The respondent counsel are Kemi Pinhiro, S.A.N. for INEC, Akin Olujimi, S.A.N. for President Tinobu, and Vice President Chitima, Afolabi Fashanu, S.A.N. for APC. They all did not oppose the witness but objected to his adoption of his statement on oath. Olujimi for the second and third respondent objected to the adoption of his witness statements on oath. According to him, it is against the provision of the Electoral Act. It is settled that election petition must be filed within 21 days after the announcement of the election. The documents sent out must be accompanied by the petition, list of witnesses and their statements. The witness statement was filed today, three months after the announcement of the result, he said. He added that he has looked at the pages of petition and did not see the name of the witness. The witness is not confident to testify before this court. These points have been settled in the decision of this court, he said. Being hero aligned with the submission by Olujimi, the petitioners were aware of the videos and ought to have filed it along with the petition as required by the law. He therefore urged the court to discountenance the adoption and uphold the objection. Fashanu for APC aligned with the submissions of the other respondent counsel. He added that there is no distinction between a subpoenaed witness and ordinary witness for the purposes of compliance. He therefore urged the courts to uphold the objection and refuse the adoption for void of merit. Okotekwa told the court if there is something to dismiss, it is the objections of the respondent. A subpoena, we know, is an order of the court issued against a person. It is not a witness in control of the petitioner or respondent and is competent to testify. If a subpoenaed witness can testify orally, what injury would we suffer? I submit none. It will rather quicken the hands of justice, he said. No jury should be each suffered, no injury should be suffered. I therefore urge the court to overrule the objection. You need to see the video. He told the court that the evidence the subpoenaed witness brought were live interviews with Ivan Chairman and Mr. Festus Okoye. The video's flash drive were tendered and admitted in evidence and the council prayed that it should be played. Olujimi objected that it should not be played because the flash drive was not saved on them. He submitted that they don't know what the content of the flash drive was and need to know in order to prepare themselves. Having not saved us before the proceeding, it would not be in the interest of fair hearing, he said. Fashanu for APC aligned with Olujimi while Pinhiro for INE said the video can be played since it is already admitted in evidence. However, 
The five-member panel led by Justice Haruna Samani adjourned until today for the videos to be played and for the hearing of the petition. Obi and his Labour Party are petitioners in the petition challenging the election which brought President Balati to power. Respondents are Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, President Balati and Vice President Kashim Shetima and all progressive scholars. The court admitted to flash drive to the authorities of the witness of Obi and his party. Let me give you a brief rundown of what is contained in the flag drive that will be played later today in court. The content of the two videos that will be lawyers will play as evidence at the court. The legal representatives of the Labour Party presidential ice parents, Peter Gregory Obi, are set to play two videos at the ongoing presidential election petition court sitting in Abuja. It is no longer news that for a few weeks the legal representatives of the Labour Party presidential aspirants have been arriving at the court with loads of evidence. On Friday, Peter Obi and his legal team were at the court and submitted two video evidence. One of the video clips was the interview with the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Ayman Mahmoud Yakub, and the second contains content from the Commission's National Commissioner and Chairman of the Information and Water Education Committee, Estus Ukuye. According to the report, the two video clips were submitted and were admitted by the court and will be played in the next sitting, which is today. The video clips of interview with the Chairman of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mamou Yakubu, and the Commission's National Commissioner and Chairman of the Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus of Kuhi, on the 2023 election, tend as evidence by the people will be played at the Presidential Election Petition Court today, Saturday, 10th June. The videos were submitted by Peter Obi through a subpoena witness to prove his petition against the victory of Paula Ahmed of APC in the 2023 presidential election. Presidential Election Petition Court had admitted this after stiff evidence and resist after stiff resistance from lawyers to the respondents. I will keep updating you and bring you full transcripts and details of what goes on in court today. So if you want to stay updated, make sure to subscribe if you are new to this channel and you have not yet subscribed. And also like and share our videos to encourage us if you love what we are doing. Thanks very much as you keep watching this channel and coming to this channel every now and then. And we promise that we will never disappoint you on um, giving you updates and information that is going on both at the tribunal and in the country at large. Thanks for staying with us and make sure to subscribe if you've not done so.